What up everybody, it's Ponter here, and today we've got a very special game. It is a game on Do Caspian, which is a brand new map. And this is a match mode game played in 2024. So this is probably my first recording of the new year. And yeah, Wick is thriving. We've got brand new maps, still got competitive play. You know, what more could you ask for? And this map has been a very interesting journey. And listen to that music. Nice. But yeah, it's, uh, this is ma a map made by Small Island. Uh, so otherwise, oh yeah, Clearwater Creek. Um, so he's not just a good match mode player he is actually a good map maker and this is one of those rare maps that was made by somebody who i guess is knowledgeable of the actual competitive scene like uh i don't think i've there's ever been a map and look at the, the, the hawk that looks like a hawk missile set interesting i've never seen a map made by a competitive player other than house b made a map caldera but that was like an assault map i think i think he did a demo uh, di i don't know if it was a fully assault map maybe it was domination that map was kind of a mess uh but i've never seen a custom made map made by uh, somebody who actually knows how co to play competitive match modes and actually executed well and like aesthetically it's nice like it doesn't look like a complete there's some weird stuff like this this is a common like the how the i guess like the terrain isn't covered up by the the asphalt like you get the rub rubbliness uh there still but the great thing about this map is it's, it's like a a theme park for infantry players like infantry players just love this map like look at all these bunkers all the rocks all the little tree clumps lots of trees in the back and the other thing about this map is it's very small um but but it's also broken up by geographic barriers so you have the river and some cliffs uh but it's very small like look at like this is the normal map size like every map i think is this this square but this is basically where you're fighting on this map everything else is kind of like this is all pretty much a no-go uh this is all like useless space so this is really where you're fighting and so er, like it's action-packed right from the beginning like it's it is kind of like a uh like a bf2 map or something i don't know i never played i think this is a bf3 map but i never played battlefield 3 so i don't know I, apparently it doesn't really look like the uh it but i don't know this, this does look like the, uh, I've seen some videos of it and it does, there is kind of this big giant, giant ass wall. But yeah, this, this map, oh, we'll just wait for the teams to form. Uh, this match is going to be a 5v5 and I think this is literally the first 5v5 played on the map. I don't know, like throughout the testing, I think it was mostly 4v4s and the teams are good. We've got Weesk, myself. Kickapoo, and we're trying to get a four or a fifth, and it will eventually be Small Island Smurf. So we've got the map creator. That doesn't really give us an advantage, though, unfortunately. But it's gonna be yeah. There he is. And in terms of, and we'll just give him a color. In terms of the strategies, and we can just take a look at the map here. The strategies for the USA side, so the USA side spawns here and here, and the USSR spawn, uh, spawns up here. And it's funny because this always was the USSR spawn or USA spawn, but then the other team would spawn over here and they, they switch the spawns to kind of be in this direction. And the way the map kind of forms up in a, like this is actually honestly my first, uh, my second game on this rendition of the map. And what usually happens, USSR takes the, this point, this point contests this and then these are the gimme points for usa and what i noticed we were playing ussr the previous game we we just came down from the spawn and just dumpstered the gas station and bridge 
and that was a devastating strategy. Basically, you could just pin the other team in the spawn um, and just constantly cap these. And then because you hold these, because these are your okay. gimme points, you can have a pretty savage tick on the other team. And it's hard to get out of that position. That is, once the enemy team takes this on the USA side, that's like the death position uh, on this map. So I was very cognizant of that. And the other kind of meta, I guess, is like wait for the nuke. So at 1230, you just nuke here. But I'm dubious of that. Like that was the that was the go-to strategy every version of the map I've seen, and even this one, uh, because it's a small map, um, and small maps are very nuke friendly. But man, like we'll 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 see what happens when we try that uh, later. And there's some jankiness as well. So right right off the bat, we see Dex is on air. That's that's a dangerous. I know we didn't really really talk about the other team. So that's Alien Smurfing. You got Kid A on support, but also Blitz on support, so it's double support. And I guess this is going to be a fun opportunity to talk about like overall metas in five v fives and kind of where we're at in the metas. Like we went double infantry, you see here, because um, uh, we assume you know this is a good map for infantry. Double infantry is a hard counter to double support, so they will very quickly switch off of it. Basically, that like I think they're just waiting for that cap. And then they're going to switch. And they want that because they assumed it's double air coming from us. And on like the, on their side, that's a mistake. Like, look at this team. This is not a double air team. This is a double infantry team. Like, we've got three infantry players, basically, and, like, half an air player. Like, I'm not even a proper air player, I'll be honest. Um, like, I can, I can hold my own, but I'm not, like, kid A level of air. Or even Dex, like, these guys are way better at me than air. So why would you start off with double support when you know the other team's not going to try that? But I think the reason is is because air is so dominant in 5v5s now. Like, it's just ridiculous. And we're going to see what double air can do on the other side. Just, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. So they just switched. We know they switched. We managed to take the bridge. And that puts us in a really nice position. Um... Like, holding this gives USA, uh, USA a savage tick lead. So, but it's really hard to hold the bridge. Like, they can easily decap it. Like, it's something's got to go really wrong on the USSR team to lose the bridge. And then it's pretty easy to infiltrate this town as um, as USSR. And you can see here, Elian is just being a complete bastard about it. And meanwhile, I'm just desperately trying to prevent the Kappa bridge. You know, sacking all my choppers... It's really dangerous as an air player to do anything on bridges because bridges fuck with you. You can't attack ground on bridges. So it's really dangerous to mess around there. Like, if you don't have a perfect line of sight, you're going to fail. Um, look, at we're just desperately trying to prevent this this AT. Like, so it's so dangerous when the other team gets gets infanted here. Less so on this side, I don't know, because like, it's so close. Like, there's just less space to work with. And then in the meantime, yeah, yeah now Blitz is on air. So they're double air. In the meantime, I would say Small Islands has the wrong loadout for a double inf situation. Like, he really should have just gone mass shitheads. No trucks, just mass shitheads. Like, mass regular infantry. And spam them into woods. Um, especially now that we see that there's double air. It's the only it's the only thing we're going to do. Like, like, Or at this point, like as soon as they go double air, just get mediums or something. But I don't think mediums will work on this map. It's too it's too easy for the air to run back to their AA net. And it's and you have no depth, like strategic depth to run and hide uh, your units in. And we're going to see when you ha when your situation where there is no strategic depth, heavy air is so devastating. Like look, okay, they're ba they're balling up now. Here they come. Dex and Blitz are going together and this is like perfect collaborative air like they only have one scout between them but they all go in together and it's just devastating like look at that like even though they lose the scout like they kill everything and th now they have to pull out but they did the damage they wiped the armor player they killed the jeeps that were greedily put forward or killed one jeep Th like what's a medium air player gonna do like yeah you could probably get like crack a few missiles off but they would have just popped flares killed all the tanks and then left anyways like a medium air can't absorb that and then Maybe instead we could do a very expensive infantry played air to airs, which actually does pay off. That's a great air to air, but it's infantry doing it. You know, spirit gun 
is not like Wally. He's not going to pull off the insane air to airs uh, that you kind of need to manage the double air. So I think double air is the proper is probably the best optimal loadout in a 5v5 on this map just like it is for almost every other map and i know we've had endless discussions on if this is pro if this is the right thing i think it's just is what it is like in a five maybe that's why everybody likes 4v4s more than 5v5s because you don't have to deal with this nonsense but it's also like we also go double air in this like we'll see small island's gonna get frustrated and we don't do a well a good enough job on the double heavy air uh because we're not as cooperative like these guys are actually going to work very much together they have the supportive mindset to do that um and in the meantime yeah it's really hard to get anything going here this is one thing i've noticed about this it's so hard to like, you would think that it would be easy to attack this like you have everything you have this easy place for support to get in there you have good fire positions for tanks to support you have lots of bunkers and buildings to run infantry into, but it's just so hard to get anything going here. Um, it's not even the right strategy. I don't know. Like, I don't know what the right strategy is. Like, I think the, the common one was to nuke, to like use the nuke to enable an attack on this position. I don't think that's the right strategy either. I think maybe it's the flanks. Like, you just ignore the middle and harass it and force them to commit, and then you, you work over this side and this side with infantry and you defend here like look how clustered we are here this is also a liability but i think we realized because we did exactly that to the team in the previous game if you don't defend this well as usa you're gonna get destroyed and it's just gonna snowball so quickly out of control you'll lose in like six minutes um so you need to commit a lot to here but you know, this, this AA positioning is lamentable. We're in the you know, the, now. I would prefer a line like this, kind of, like, eh, something like that. And then here we go, small island switches, and doesn't communicate to the team, by the way, which I was peeved about. You know, at least tell us when you're going to switch, uh, because I would have said maybe go mediums instead. Because here we go, here, are, here they come again. They, they pussy out, and then... Oh, are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? Pussies. Okay, we... Uh, maybe they're waiting for the scans to respawn or something, or, you know, the feng shui. But two air players against four AAs. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. So they're nuking, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But they managed to wipe three AAs a couple... T oh, they actually... They fuck up their missiles there. They wipe out almost a whole support player... And then they say they're nuking, and this is an issue with this map. Uh, apparently, you don't get the not uh, the notification that a nuke is coming. So, the good manner thing is to just tell the team you're nuking. And that nuke was really devastating. I don't know why they dived, even though they maybe they didn't know that they were nuking or something. They should have just waited, uh, like air players. But it's devastating. And just I, like Elian, man, like I fucking hate playing against this guy. Like he, it's just perfect every time. Like. He's doing the right infantry, just shitheads in the open, running for cover. They're going to get into these woods, and they're just going to be like a cancer. They're never going to be destroyed. He's just always going to be inserting on them. He's going to get a dirty cap here if we don't stop him. We, yeah, they get a dirty cap there. We decap it immediately, but look at that savage tick. And, you know, uh, nukes on this map, because it's so close, and I think like that's the perfect spot to nuke. Uh, from the USA perspective, or from the USSR perspective, war, our nukes are going to struggle in comparison. And then, yeah, here comes the air to, to clean it up. So maybe if they didn't blow their load so hard first time around, they could have helped out. And also, again, they Dex kind of went the wrong way. Could've, he could have gone in, and they could have wiped Spirit Gun right there, and they could have got another cap if they if the air had collaborated. Like, guys, air players, like, I'm the worst. I'd make the same mistake too, but, like, Go together, do a collaborative airbang. You know, you don't just do it once in the beginning of the ma map. Like, do it consistently, especially when you know, uh, in killing jeeps, like, that's another thing people were complaining about. Especially when you know, like, this is the mission critical area. Like, yeah, I can go and kill some infantry, infantry in the open, or I can help my other guy wipe the support player. What should I do? Like, I'm going to help wipe the support player so my team can get a cap. Like, that's what you should do. 
No, like me and me and uh, Sergeant Pepper here, Small Island, we never do a collaborative air bang. And Kid A is good enough that she can probably handle one of us. And then no, just the shitheads, man. Like this shithead has been is gonna be here all game, and he's just gonna like we have the ADHD air that like leaves before killing it. And and you know Elian has hit insert, and look, we hit him with a direct arty, and boom, he he charged again, like unkillable uh, when you. You know, when you get into these woods, that's a way you can manage. If you're going to do double infantry, that's how you fight a double air. Uh, but, like, if there's a good infantry player, and I think this is the weakness with double infantry now, these days, unless the team is really shit that you're going up against, you know, they're going to have an infantry player that's good enough to manage two infantry players if they play, play their cards right. Like, two infantry players can't run riot against a good infantry player and here we go here's our nuke it's a awkwardly placed nuke like never put nuke like th it's a we wanted to kill the bridge it's a compromise nuke looking back i told i called it like that's my call uh because i see like the the tanks are right there but just l notice how ineffectual it is like it, it doesn't kill it doesn't kill this like really it doesn't kill that really um, and also we forgot, like, we realized as we were nuking that we were supposed to call it, but, you know, Your reinforcement has arrived. it's pretty hard to dodge. <laughs> Anyways, and, like, we do clusters over here, but no drops. Like, we're pretty TA-starved at this point. And, like, where the hell is Spirit Gun? Or, what's his face? Yeah, he keeps getting wiped. You know, we both just keep getting wiped. We can never get the collaborative airbang juices going. Um, and, you know, Spirit Gun's always also getting wiped all the time against their double air so we can never you know this whole team is just kind of fucking up pretty hard honestly uh, like this these should not be going all here in a big clump like this is that's not esports um yeah now he breaks it off and i think we could have been switching our spawns a little bit more like this spawn is good for pushes over here versus this spawn which is good for pushes over here but we do manage we do get a good good comeback going like you know, considering this is our first like five v five on this map, it's not the worst. It's not the worst showing so far. And I, I would say that this team is a little stronger. There's some air, air to airs. I still keep my star though. Like this team is probably a little bit stronger, honestly. Like it's a better composition. It's just kind of the same. See, um, common sense and exile curse. Like we don't have enough air players. That's our problem. Um, in an air dominated meta. Uh, but we do manage, we get the triple pointer, and, and you can get a savage tick with the triple pointer, and I think this is this is the path to victory uh, on the USA side, is, is always poking the bridge when it's open, and then pokes of opportunity here, and keeping it decapped, and then just getting infantry into these woods. But just, oh my god, this infantry is so brutal, man. And like, why don't we have that? Like, we don't have, where's, we have one shithead here. Yeah, Kickapoo's trying his best, and this guy is still alive. Like, you know how long ago that, that guy has been there? Oh, I was so mad, and, like, Kickapoo was also mad. Like, we were all mad about that, uh, that infantry. It's just, it's tough. And, like, snipers aren't the play on this map because the elevations are not good. Or, are, are, like, really, it's it's challenging. And there's so much cover in buildings and bunkers and these, these fucking rocks. And, you know, like, it's just crazy, man. Uh dealing with this and then you just notice the natural state of this map and i think this is this right here this configuration is the natural state like ussr is going to hold the bridge they're going to hold this at threat so you need to keep units here they're going to easily hold this all the time and usa is going to bleed out slowly and it's usa can only surge and like decap things and then wait for the counter attack by ussr and because things are so close on this map, you know, it's not like in gas station on hometown where, you know, you lose the gas station and you have some a moment of, it takes a while for units to get there to clean you up. Um, and it's pretty hard to dislodge compared to this. Like, and like, look at this, like a double air, like could mediums even stop this? I don't think mediums could stop this. Like they're so, again, they're so, they can, they come out of vision right there and then they just kill everything and then they leave and like w with flares you're not going to have time to actually like just soak them uh and then you know th there's just so many shitheads and aas that can poke your medium air that like oh my fucking god there's so many shitheads
This guy's still alive, by the way. He's got star now. <laughs> I, I think we're going to kill him. Like, oh, no, see, in Small Island, that's not how you, you play air. You stay there. You stay there and eat the missiles and kill him. Like, you don't leave. Uh, you, like, again, it's like cancer. Okay, finally, Kickapoo kills him. Like, you got to go all out. You know, excise the tumor, nuke it. Yeah. It, it, so, medium air, I don't know if it's the play or not. And, and there's still a shithead in here. It kills my scout. That's brutal. Uh, and there's also one in here, and even though this, these woods are, like, destroyed, there's a guy in there. So, double air... Played correctly, I think, is the move. Against, uh, where, where is Small Island? Where is the air? Arties would have been nice up here. I think carpets also... Carpets are a good TA on this one. Um, and here comes again, man. Like, this air banging is so good. Like, my god. And even though, like, Spirit Gun does the correct thing, he snipes... He almost snipes both scouts. But there's two air players. There's too many scouts. And then everything dies... Muku with the light tanks. Like, Muku knows what's up. And this is what we did then the last game. Is just... Air comes in. Kills everything. And it's not getting distracted with the flanks. Let's see... Let's see what happens with Small Island. Yeah. Not much. Just eating missiles. Eating... Eating the, uh... The stingers. We do manage to get a cap here. It, it, it's still a close game. Like, look at the Dom bar. Three minutes left. Like, it's not a... It's not an uneven game like, like i think all things considering like we aren't doing too bad and th at this point kickapoo gets a shit ton of ta like he has he's holding 80 ta his nuke cool time he did the first nuke so it's still cooling off for him so i think our ta management was a little a little mistake there's a random air to air that's interesting um and then there's the nuke we find we do the good manner thing we tell them that we're nuking I'm gonna nuke. Uh, and again, I don't know if this is the right move either. Like, look at this sus nuke. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no parrot. Like, like, come on, guys. Like, the guys are in the nuclear fire. And they survive. Uh, so, it's a janky one. Like, a lot of maps have the jankiness on the nukes. <laughs> look at these shitheads, man. I am physically angry. Like, a weeks later, after this game, I'm still pissed off. Uh, I, like, I don't know what Kickapoo could have done. Uh, differently like maybe if, if we spent that ta on more drops but you know he's constrained by the nuke time or by the drop timer you know he's doing his best here it's just those guys are so fucking brutal to deal with and again we get a good tick going i think maybe again if we had chucked light tanks like it, it might be easier like this is where you ussr comes from so it's very straightforward like no matter where you spawn it's a pretty quick drive to this two pointer, and it's a pretty, it's a really fast drive to this two pointer, compared to like us. Like you have to constantly be jumping spawns as the oh yeah, and like, I love this the infantry slowing down the tank push. Oh my god, that's an interesting nuke from them. Like that's a really dubious nuke. It does kill it. Like they got lucky. Like it's killing stuff all the way over here. So that one worked. And interestingly enough, it was an alien nuke. Like uh, so, the infantry player did it. That really shut us down, and, and that's going to have implications by, like, destroying all the forts with that nuke. Implications on, on victories. And then here comes drops, like, combined effort. You know, our support is still pinned in the spawn. This guy's running riot. Like, we can't contain both of these air players. And in the meantime, both of our air players are completely dead. Like, I'm completely wiped. Small Island just came back. And, I mean, that was, I mean, that nuke, I don't know about it, but I don't know if nukes are the play on this one. I think, like, an insane expenditure of drops and stuff. But, again, it's so, like, drops make sense on big maps. I don't know if they make as much sense on small maps. Like, it's just, it, it's so easy to, you can so easily react. But I think maybe some, like, ton of light tank drops over here. or And, and just notice here, Tender as a virgin's thigh, these two back points. All of these back points. We have one fort in our entire team. And we decap everything. Like, we literally decap everything. Like, there's not a single thing capped. We have a brutal, like, a savage tick in our advantage. The APCs are coming. The Jeeps are going. I'm parked here just killing everything on this bridge to prevent them from capping. We're pumping kick with TA. Oh, we're so close. But notice the drops on the, the virgin unforded 
and it's, and it's precise, like one drop per, it's going to be the ultimate decap, and we push it over. Right there, we pushed it over. That We're at like 41%, or, or like, we're at 51%, and then that, that monster triple decap on the unprotected points fucks us. And then that tank parked just short, uh, but it's too late. That that monster decap from Elian wins the game. So Elian's definitely MVPing it up. Like, he handled double infantry against us. He really, his, his his infantry was just devastating. Um, and I think the double, the double heavy air from this team was also devastating. Like, I, I, it isn't an instant win. Like, we had double heavy air, but we played terribly. Like, our air was bad compared to their air was good. And that's the difference. Like, double air, heavy air played properly is, is broken. But double air, heavy air played, you know, poorly isn't broken. And... I think that's the only solution. Like, I don't think mediums are the play on this map. I don't know. I don't know how many. Uh, I don't know how many games we're actually going to play on this, but it's a good map. I won't. I don't know if I'll do a formal review of it. I know I used to do those all the time. Um, I'll definitely include the download map. Like everybody should get it and play it. Uh, hopefully, we could get enough people with it that we could play a pub on it. Like that would be a lot of fun. Uh, but this is a GG. Like fifty one percent. I can't feel that. Like, considering how badly we played, we still kept it pretty close. So, a good GG. First GG of the year for me. Anyways, uh, that's it for me. Let me know what you think of the map. Take it easy, guys. Later.